My name's Stephen Appleby and I'm a cartoonist mostly and I think what I try and do with my work is kind of create a world and I write and draw and imagine and sort of daydream and try and capture all of that in my drawings. When I was a kid I used to draw my own comics and make little books there was one, for example, about a hen. I had a pet hen when I was a kid, and I did a little book about her, called, and her name was Tuffy McGruffy. And when I left school, I went to art college, it, because that was kind of the subject I liked best. And I always wanted to write and draw, but I didn't think that would be possible. So when I discovered strip cartoons and um, that kind of thing, Strip cartoons were, were a great medium for me because I could have my own little world in a newspaper and I could have my own ideas, write it, draw it, and it was perfect. When I went to art school I was encouraged to keep a sketchbook and do life drawing and various things like that, but I found that that isn't particularly useful to me, so I've got a few rules of my own. So my first rule would be that wonky drawing is fine. For example, um, if I'm drawing a car, I've never been any good at drawing cars, so I just draw a kind of lumpy sort of thing with four wheels on the corners. And in the context of my cartoons, I think it's funnier and, and works better than a really beautiful drawing of a car would. My cars seem to all sort of end up looking like about 1950s or, or something some shadow underneath and that's sort of a wonky car. If you've got a good idea you can convey that with a stick man drawing or, um, or a very simple drawing. I remember the cartoonist Mel Kalman who taught me once saying that uh, that he just had evolved a sort of language of drawing that was very simple but was exactly right to convey his ideas about relationships and whatever. So you don't need to be a sort of good, clever drawer so long as you can convey the idea well. My third rule, rule number three, would be to loosen up. What I've always found is that the first rough drawing is often the best one and I'll go back to that after having tightened up and tightened up and abandoned those the first one was the best. I almost um, try not to draw too carefully, too um, slowly and methodically because if, if I'm sort of quick and loose it's a far better result, a much livelier result. So I can do a rough drawing say um, in pencil of somebody um, running along and it can be nice and loose and um, so no danger of tightening up because it's not the finished drawing I'm not stressed about it getting spoiled or anything like that and then um, what I can then do is put it on the light box uh, if I don't like the position of where it is I can you know move the paper around I can decide to I can decide he's, you know, maybe nearer to the edge or something like that. And then I can, um, something else to, let's pretend this is my sort of finished, finished drawing pen. And then I can, you know, go over this and change it quite a bit. But I've got the drawing underneath as a guide. And so it's still... It's, it's giving me a kind of position and I'm not exactly tracing it because if you trace it, it becomes stiff as well if you trace it too accurately. So I've got my kind of finished drawing that's still quite fresh and it hasn't lost too much life. Let me turn that around. So the light box is a brilliant tool. There's a real tendency that people have to want to fill up the drawing with lines and put loads of detail in and 
shading and scratching and stuff and it's not necessarily helpful. Sometimes a really simple drawing is far more effective. It's um, interesting to me that you know it's possible with very few lines to you know create expressions I do find it interesting though how you can sort of you know change the sex of them with very sort of little you know what I mean I suppose it's because it's cartoon type drawing they're not you know You see, it doesn't matter if the body's too small for the head. <laughs> you can go and get away with anything, and then you can have a huge person. And that's fine too. The final rule is that there are no rules. So break all the rules that I've just been telling you.